Hello my friends. I want to show you how easy it is to format your manuscript for Kindle for Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing Program otherwise known as KDP. So let's start shall we? First of all let's make our line indentation. First line indent. Two spaces. One two. I have single spacing. I like to put my title in the middle. Title. Subtitle and your name here. New York Times best selling author, of course. Now we start with a page break. Control Enter. Very important. Now we are going to start with add a space after each paragraph. This is the copyright page. Text and images, copyright 2014, etc. Make sure to plug your page here. www.zbooks.co, not .com. Let's make another page break. Control Enter. The dedication page. Dedicated to my family, for example. Another page break. And now I'm just going to put this as a placeholder, the table of contents. Later we'll come back and build it. Let's start with the preface. That goes here, after the table of contents. And it is not part of the table of contents. Another page break. Control Enter. Let's get started now with chapters. Chapter 1. And important, we're going to make this Heading 1. Heading 1. Notice how it did not go to the line indentation. Let's fix that. There we go. First line indentation, two. This, oops. So, this is a properly formatted ebook for Kindle. Fine. Page break. Control Enter. Uh, chapter 2. Heading 1. Let's make another subject. Make it Heading 2. F15 Eagle. Heading 2. We're going to do this for each and every chapter. For time's sake, I'm going to only do three chapters here. Heading 1. After all of your chapters are done, comes the The End page and the Acknowledgements. Always use heading 1 for the top. Page break, control enter. Very important now. Plug your website again about the author. I'm going to put this all in the middle for now. Thank you, spell check. Heading 1, heading 1. Very good. Now let's go back and add our TOC. There we 
we go. Now the interesting thing about this is you don't need the table of contents in your manuscript because we are going to build this later with Calibre. So this is the profi tip number one. If your table of contents is boring and you have a short book then don't even add it in your manuscript. Calibre will add it later and will put it at the end of the book. Now this is important because if you have a short book you want the people to see some of your book in the Amazon preview. If you have a boring table of contents you don't want this taking up your preview space. So we don't even put it in the manuscript here. We take it out and we delete this entire page. We delete the entire table of contents. As long as we have all of the chapters as heading one, then Calibre will add them later to the end of the book. Now if we have an interesting table of contents that actually says something, then we will leave it in the document. And that's all there is to formatting your manuscript, my friends. Thank you very much for listening. And to make it even easier, I have put this manuscript and cheat sheet in my website, www.zbooks.co, not .com. Go there and just get it for free, and you can start making your ebook empire. Thank you very much.